Dr. Tusha, and my team members are Dr. Roslina, Puan Haja Nur Asila, who is also our director, Puan Durul Hana, Cik Gayatri, and Cik Haslinda, and we hail from the Teacher Education Institute, Malay Language Campus. English language is the language of international communication, the media, and the internet. Thus, the ability to be proficient in the English language increases one's recognition internationally. In line with the transformational plan of the Institute of Teacher Education as aspired in the Malaysian National Education Blueprint 2013-25, the development of educators, specifically in research and innovation, is pertinent in moving Malaysia's spectrum of education development to greater heights. So our innovation is enveloped with the problem statements as below. The speaking and writing culture in the second language can be daunting, especially for those who are not proficient in the language. The motivation to perform well among Malaysian educators whose mother tongue is not the English language is seen as a crucial need these days. So, if you want to advance in your field, there is a need for you to publish and present, especially on a global context. So, why is this important? Science moves via communication. Writing establishes one as an expert in his field. It gives an opportunity to be an influencer of your field. Also, an opportunity to review for other journals. And finally, it can even lead to job opportunities and promotions. So before carrying out uh, the innovation, we conducted a needs analysis and these uh, the results is publishing in English language necessary? 55.5% felt so. Is presentation in English language at international levels necessary? 53.8% felt so. Is publishing in English language at international levels necessary? 596 agreed on it and 78.4% of our lecturers felt that it's necessary for them to increase their English language proficiency. So the objectives of this innovation is to enable lecturers to publish in English language in indexed journals and also to enable lecturers to present in English language at international conferences. The innovation, the top model, is a scaffolding to help one to publish and present specifically in the English language, though the model itself is adaptable for other languages. So the top model, trending on professionalism, is what the acronym TOP stands for. And the two important elements are publication and presentations, which are such crucial elements for one's key performing index in academia. So this is the flowchart of the publication element of the top model. First, you would have a completed RA, research article. This is then Google translated into the English language and it is further refined by the writer because only he would understand his content. And then this is sent to a special committee called the RCP, Research Communication Partners. After they added the article, it is then submitted to a journal and the writer would wait for the feedback and if the article is reje rejected, it is repeated with another submission. But if the article is accepted, it is then further refined by the writer and the RCP and it's then finally sent for submission. On the contrary, the flowchart of the presentation element of the top model works a bit differently where there is a preparation of slides by the presenter which is then checked by the RCP. Upon completing this, there will be a mock session and also a Q&A session 
for the presenter conducted by the RCP. So it's a full cycle and once this is completed, the presenter would be probably ready to give his presentation in the English language. So in administrating this innovation, the participants were lecturers from our own Institute of Higher Education. The sampling is purposeful as it involves the identification and selection of individuals to understand a phenomenon of interest. As a preliminary study, a total of four lecturers from two different departments were involved and uh, we are using the pseudonyms of Sheila, Orchid, Yasmin and Kyra. So this is how the data collection and analysis was conducted based on the two research articles and interview sessions were conducted with the respondents. Data was derived through semi-structured interviews and the three important teams that we actually felt was necessary to be explored were self-motivation, communication apprehension and effectiveness. We felt that there is a need to do this because our second level would involve fine-tuning our model. The quality of the RAs were analysed for language proficiency. Before the intervention, no articles were translated from Bahasa Melayu to the English language to be published or even vice versa for the matter. So this is the results after the intervention. The publication and presenting status of both research articles are denoted in tables 1 and 2. So in table 1, you have the status of the research articles where all have been translated, edited and published. And also for the status of presentation, all articles have been submitted and presented. So it is obvious that the model itself is completely effective in helping lecturers with whatever apprehension they had initially. So some of the elements that we did look into was self-motivation and the respondents uh, felt that they are good once this kind of scaffolding is provided. Respondents are resilient in doing their best at various levels. It is evident that language anxiety seems to be a factor that underpins emotions and this scaffolding somehow has helped mitigate this situation. Communication apprehension. The responses provided show that the respondents do have the desire to communicate well even with their own shortcomings. This is a good sign that they are willing to upskill themselves and the cooperation among the lecturers during intervention and after intervention was simply um, amazing. And the effectiveness. The effectiveness of the model is supported by the respondents. There is a need to offer different kinds of hedging to further strengthen the different skills of the different languages. Their motivation, learner experiences, cultural factors and coping skills must be taken into consideration. Overall, the effectiveness of the top model in providing hedging is palpable and obvious, more so with the evidence provided by the respondents themselves. So what are the impact? The effectiveness of the model suggests the need to form partnerships with language professionals through collaboration. There is also a need to adopt well-planned innovative solutions to break the barriers that envelop the publishing and presenting dilemma among non-native speakers. And it also highlights the importance of language support services. It's also interesting to note that this model itself is usable and transferable for other languages. So, what are some of our achievements? At the International Conference on Teacher Learning and Development 2021, we obtained a second placing for Best Presenter for our presentation titled Breaking the Barriers, the Top Model. We also published an article in the ICTLD 2021 proceedings. More recently, 
a translated English article was published in Journal Rampak Bahasa 2021 which is under Mabim. The article is titled Penggunaan Model Base Dalam Karya Agung. This goes to show that our lecturers have the ability to present and publish at international levels with a little scaffolding and the top model offers that hope for us to flourish on international platforms. In conclusion, the scholarly publications specifically from Malaysia's Institutes of Teacher Education are important as they address pertinent issues which add to the existing body of knowledge in various fields that is integral in the improvement of the quality of education. They also highlight the contributions of the country's teacher educators who work in tandem with the nation's aspirations. With that, thank you.